This is a real quick explanation of how to completely generalize our definition of work in physics. So we've dealt with other cases that are unusually simple, like a constant force in one dimension or a variable force in one dimension. So now I'm totally generalizing to where my force, I forgot a vector hat on this guy, to where my force could be variable in magnitude, variable in direction, and the path could be curving all over the place. So what I have here is a mass that's been moved from some initial value to some final value. And since we're being completely general, I have located an origin in this space and every position is indicated by a vector pointing to that position. So that's our initial. This is our final. And remember, if you were to take like our final minus our initial, that would just be a vector pointing from the initial to final location. That's how the whole system works. All right, and then I have some particular value of R that occurs at this instant that I've shown. So if I wanted to point at the object at this moment in time, I would point right there and call that R. So then I want an expression for the amount of work done over this differential displacement vector dr. So that would be a dw. And that would be the force at that instant in time dotted into the displacement vector at that instant in time. Well, this means my total work is going to be the sum of all the contributions to work, the integral of the dw's. And so I would go from my initial position to my final position, adding up all those little work increments, f of r's dotted into dr's. And that's it. The way this looks when it's applied, well, it just highly depends on what kind of example you're doing. In order to actually compute this, you're going to need some kind of simplifying geometry in the problem 